be the chill from 93 Yeah, chill. this is how we chill from 93 Tip. 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 Uh, this is how we chill from 93 Tip. This is how we chill from 93 Tip. This is how we chill from 93 Tip. You know, Cash is gonna have to wake up and and actually, you know what I mean, the voice is out there. You know what I mean? In my opinion. And across the world, when you know I travel to Brazil, I go to Japan or wherever we at, you know, cats out there, <clears throat> they don't they don't see hip hop as a as a tool for making money. It's more like a, a instrument of community, you know what I mean? That's where and I think that it's so much bigger worldwide now than it ever was, you know what I mean? I'm just I'm, I'm happy to see where it is for sure. And what are your inspirations behind your guys' work and influence? I pull my inspirations from everyday life, really. Uh, I think that's a lot of uh, uh, what makes us different from everybody else is that we've remained regular people, you know, because of the fact that we've always sort of existed outside of the industry and we've always sort of had this sort of work ethic that made it possible for us to just be like dudes who love rap music and just make it. You know, so we're not rapping about how the, the end, we're in the industry or rapping about how p politics and all that kind of stuff. We're, we be rhyming about stuff everybody can relate to. So I just try to draw my inspiration from my day-to-day -day experiences. And then, you know, you got to shout out James Brown and Curtis Mayfield and, you know, Grandmaster Cat. You know, it's, it's so, like you said, we are a blip on the long radar of black music. And there's so many cats that, on whose shoulders we're standing that's making it even possible for us to do this interview that... Especially with hip hop, because you do draw your influences because of sampling and all that kind of stuff from everywhere. There's so many to name, but I, I say regular life, being able to live a regular life and then draw experiences from that makes it possible for everybody to relate to your music. And one of your guys' albums <clears throat> that's classic that you guys have. What's a favorite one you guys have recorded as a group that you agree to? That's one of the best. That if people don't know who Souls of Mischief is, how they can check you guys out. So Definitely the new, the new Montezuma Revenge. That's the new one, uh, Souls of Mischief, working with Chris <coughs> Paul. I had <clears throat> definitely, I think that's like the most fun I ever had recording a record ever. And just to be in the presence of someone like Prince Paul, who's just such a genius, you know what I mean, in terms of his knowledge about what hip-hop is, you know what I mean? If you look in his playlist of stuff, he got all kinds of music. I mean, that dude is like a real... You know, he has an archive of music of stuff that I've, things that I've just never heard. Old Rock Kim's records, you know, that cats ain't never heard. And just, you know what I mean? His, his thought process in terms of how he views hip hop is just on another level. So being around him and learning and studying from him was just a great experience. And just bringing those, that energy together, you know. Souls of Mischief, definitely legendary status, you know what I mean? Everybody knows that we've made classic material. So to work with someone else like Prince Paul, who does the same thing, it was just, I think it's a match made in heaven, you know what I mean? And it's also, you know, you got East meets West, you know what I mean? It's just a dope com uh, combination. And, you know, his sense of humor is hilarious, you know what I mean? So he got some crazy skits on there. Normally, like, if you listen to a lot of Souls and Mission Breakers, we just bombard you with music. We ain't really about doing skits and all that, you know what I mean? But uh, but he actually captured our real personality on this record and, and made it funny, you know what I'm saying? So, it's dope. And, just last but not least, your latest album, Montezuma's Revenge, elaborate so we may know more about this great project. As you have just elaborated, yeah. anyone else like to add anything about the album? Man, we lived in a house with uh, Prince Paul for uh, a month and a half, man, and just basically made a fresh record. Uh, it's been making a lot of noise. Uh, cats all over the planet have been saying it's our best record since 93 Till Infinity. Some saying it's better. So I'm, I'm just like happy that, you know, after damn near 20 years, we can even get that kind of response from fans and also create new fans. I mean, really got guys that are, you know, 17, 18 coming to the shows like, yo, your new record is dope. And I'm like, dang, we came out the, the year you were born, you know, so. Just to be able to regenerate those fans and all that and, and expose them to a style of hip-hop that may not even be available right now, you know, it's good. It's like breaking out some vintage shoes or, you know what I'm saying, though, breaking out some 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 family heirloom that you've had sitting up in a closet for heck long that's still useful and relevant today, man. So 
One love to everybody for supporting Montezuma Revenge and really supporting uh, this whole Hyrule independent movement, man. We've been independent now 13, almost 14 years, and that's not possible without the fans supporting, you know? So, one love. We got two videos coming out soon to a television screen, silver screen near you, um, and they don't. One is for one song we got called One One, and the other one is for a song we got on there called Hyrule HQ, so we'll be looking for those. All right, and you guys have anything else to add to our awesome interview from the Bay Area to Van City? Hieroglyphics.com. Watch out. We coming to your city. We coming with spitters. We ripping and all that. You guys have anything? <laughs> <laughs> DJ Lex, man. Yeah, Souls of Mischief, awesome. man. And we, exp and we exposing the hot young talent. You yeah. know what I'm saying, though? Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the Hieroglyphics crew. Casual deal. Pet love. A plus my soul brother here in spirit. I see you. I mean, I mean, definitely uh, be on the lookout for the new projects, you know what I mean? Hope you hope brand new record coming out, Vulture's Wisdom, Volume 2. Also download music on opio.bandcamp.com, O-P-I-O.bandcamp.com, you know what I mean? Check it out. Sure. These two dudes got new records coming out too, man. Vulture's Wisdom, Volume 2, and Background Check. You give me a Man, slap, slap. New music, not just new rap music, new music. Dig that. This is the Archivist, and you already know the name, y'all.